Hey guys, Silence Sale here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macross Gacha video. This time round, we are here to bring in the fun events for Halloween celebrations. So, first off, you can tell from the um, start of the game for today, Milane is the first diva um, that's getting the Halloween costumes for this month, and of course, Kaname is to follow behind. Uh, you know, the, for this last few moments of this month. So yeah, um, before we dive into the gacha, of course, there are a few things that we need to mention. Um, so I'm sure most of you who have been following my Instagram will probably know all the latest things that's been released for my cross merchandise. Um, if you have not been keeping up there, please do follow me on Instagram um, where I actually talk about stuff that is aside from Uta Macross, if you guys are interested in official Macross information, of course, whatever that's going around me as well. Um, yeah, so let's dive into the actual event page first. So I'm sure most of you guys would have been pretty surprised um, with, you know, the the list of songs that are currently within the event song right now and most of them are actually all very easy to handle looking at the extreme difficulties you can tell um, with the main event song being at level 21 only and of course the, the sub songs are, are pretty easy as well all below the range of um, 23 so that's very very easy um, something that you don't really see very often for the last event of the month which is good, you know, to relax with, uh, especially since we've been grinding so heavily. Then, of course, during the EX challenges, you guys will probably have seen, um, you know, one particular song <laughs> that shouldn't be there because uh, it just feels out of place. And yes, you can actually use um, the current EX event song, or even if you see it in the regular version of play. Um, within the event listing. You can use that to clear the current missions that is going on for the um, Macross Delta movie celebrations. So if you guys have been following me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm talking about. The daily missions, the regular missions that require you to clear Wakure wa um, Akira Menai. Um, so yeah, you can use the song within the event itself. It's nice that Dana actually has placed it within the event songs so you can actually don't have to spend your energy to you know grind the event song uh, outside of the event tab so yeah that's pretty nice of them okay so let's dive into the gacha page we're already here let's take a look at Milane's brand new episode play and it's so adorable looking at that Basara werewolf uh, a wolf version basically uh, and it's got that mini guitar! It's just so adorable! <laughs> Probably one of the nicer looking episode plates of Milane's. You know, it's just so cute. Okay, uh, aside from the adorable illustration, let's see if it has any other factors that maybe would entice you to pull this gacha till you get the episode play. So, 3765 total score, um, you know, for this episode plate with its plus 25 plus luck value so if you're wondering what the non 25 luck value um, total score is it's 3515 is actually higher than the last two episode plates for Makina and Reina that we've recently seen um, but still not the best for a 6 star episode plate considering we've seen 6 star episode plates with total score of 3700 uh, 3006 being the average as well so it's not a fantastic episode play in terms of total score but let's take a look at the skills to see how it fares in general um, first thing first this episode play focuses on voice which is what is required for this current event song um, then pay attention to the three other divas that can use the episode play and also take note um, the costume points for Milane's brand new um, Halloween bunny uh, costume is actually attainable through the event episode plates itself so it's actually not necessary for you to pull this gacha if you're just trying to unlock the costume um, but of course if you have the event gacha tickets you can try 
um, the free template pool that you can get from it and hopefully gain more episode points for the costumes unlocking so yeah center skill s rank apparently my neighbor is being noisy at this point in time oh well Unit's life is improved by 40% so do we actually need life improvement when the song is so easy? No, no it's not necessary at all so the center skill itself is a flop. <laughs> Moving along, active skill, score up so for 10 seconds you gain the 100% boost in score and it's back to the old 6 star episode plates active skill. The 100% boost is definitely the best we've seen for a 6 star episode plate. Um, but of course, if you've already gotten a 7 star episode plate or win a Macross 7 series belonging to Milane or Basara, why not use that instead? This plate will become redundant. Yep. Life skill, however, short score improvement. So, with that said, you know that the current event song is a short duration song. So power up your divas with short duration abilities. Have episode plates like this one that has the short song uh, improvement skill. You know. With that said, the live skill itself is all the more reason that you should get a copy of this episode plate. But of course, like I've said, there are better six star episode plates out there with better total scores, including those with the similar live skill of improving the score. Uh, ability so yeah you might want to consider that if you already gotten copies out there that are better than this one that has similar life skill I don't see that I don't see a reason for you to continue pulling for this episode plate uh, aside for the fact that maybe if you're a Milane fan uh, or you just really want to attain this adorable fully evolved illustration <laughs> which you can actually get from seeing the commercial um, clip that was you know at the start of the game um, and of course you can re-watch it you know through the gacha page itself moving on the last page sadly to say up to this point in time there's no episode plates with the score improvement skill that has any special note attached to it so that's something to look forward to in the future we don't know whether Dana will release something like that in the future but we can always hope you know until then I guess it's all the more reason for us to save our singing stones for better plates in the future. So yeah, with all of that done, uh, I'm gonna go out into the homepage and claim my event gacha tickets before we start pulling. Guys, let me know your thoughts on all the stuff we've discussed. Um, you know, uh, that is on Instagram or even on this video. Uh, what do you guys think of the missions currently for the Wakuria Akira Manai? Uh, I'm not pronouncing things right because I'm tired actually. <laughs> Wakurig wa um, Missions, of course, what do you think of the stats of the episode play as well? Um, the merchandise that is currently being released for the Macross Frontier uh, Galaxy Life Revenge third round goods. And of course, there is also the A3 pop up store merchandise. Um, then, of course, Mirage's brand new Kairos from Chogukin that's also to be released next next year in March so there, there a lot of stuff to keep up with oh yeah there's one other thing as well uh, I also now have community posts available on my YouTube channel so that's fantastic so it's another way for me to communicate with you guys aside from Instagram um, and of course my YouTube videos so guys make sure you hit like share subscribe um, for the channel and all the video contents that I produce for you guys Hopefully everything has been wonderful and has been helpful uh, as always So let's do this We're gonna do... We're gonna have to do some Super Dimension pools as well Because some of the tickets are gonna expire soon So lots of stuff Alright, so let's do the single free pool from the gacha first As you can probably tell just now when I scroll all the way down My daily afternoon pool has already been used because. I thought I'll be recording this video later at night, but apparently I have the time and I've already unlocked the tickets, so why not do it now? <laughs> okay, so we didn't get any animations for the first free pool, so that's kind of worrying, but let's see how rare this common play is. Oh, it's pretty, 
decently rare, considering that I don't have many duplicates of it. So today's luck might be decent. Not expecting anything out of it, but you know, if we don't have anything good from this pool, it means Kaname's pool, uh, which is the more important one, considering that the costume is locked behind the gacha, is gonna get some decent luck, or at least with Kaname's upcoming seven star costume as well. Uh, yeah, that that's something to worry about as well. Okay, so let's do the Super Dimension Gacha template pool first. Then we'll move on to the the event gacha tickets and maybe the discounted template pool if necessary. So we do get some kind of a mediocre loading speed for this one. Hmm. Oh, no Valkyries at all. That's interesting. Okay. No red boxes on the first bling. One single red box. It's kind of worry. So it seems like today's luck is pretty dry as well. Oh, we're getting a lot of Valkyrie. Okay. Just when I say Valkyrie, there's Frontier, then now we have SDF and Cross. <laughs> but it seems like there's a lot of Valk um, front, uh, Delta episode plays though. Hmm. Yeah, majority of the plates belonging to Delta. Oh, seems like the costume point plate is new. And we got the red plate to evolve. So that's not too bad. Even though it's nothing fantastic, but you know, it, it's better to have bad luck in the Super Dimension Gacha pool, to be honest. Okay, let's move on with the main Gacha itself. Okay, we're gonna use the event gacha tickets first if something nice is out from it I'm gonna save the singing stones oh there we go we get some load mm -hmm. hopefully that means new episode plates oh mediocre Valkyrie animation oh dear Ooh, today's luck is really horrible <laughs> only one red box Okay, skip all the common stuff. Oh, there we go. Costume points. It's always welcome. More costume points. Nice. Uh, Elto's face is just worrying. <laughs> oh! Nice. So it's a pretty rare kimono episode plate, so that's not too bad. Okay, so we didn't get the featured episode plate, um, even though it would be nice if we could pull it out. After all, it is a pretty essential episode plate. Any episode plates with the score improvement ability is always welcome. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm still going to go with the discounted plate pool just to try my luck. You know, you never know if we will actually get it. Alright, here we go. Some loading there as well. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, we get the golden orb, so that's not too bad. At least we're getting something now. Oh, oh we're gonna see the red box evolve. Okay. Okay, more costume points. Fantastic. Here we go. This one should be the one evolving. Yeah. Bless the box with Kaname's love. Oh, come on! What's with this Shadow episode plate? I have so many copies of it now! Oh god. Okay. Yeah, it seems like we're not gonna get the episode plate. Oh well. But at least we get some decent amount of costume points for, you know. Elaine's brand new costume. Uh, episode play evolve. Duplicate copies of Cheryl's episode play. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, eventually, I think this Cheryl episode play of mine is gonna end up being the first episode play with the plus 25 luck value. Uh, with how many duplicates I've been pulling. Anyway, guys, today's video is kind of a flop, but you know, we did get some progression in terms of some of the episode plates do evolve um, you know you cannot be sad about 
getting duplicates in this game, you know, duplicates mean something as well in this game. So that's not too bad of a thing, even though it is not the kind of thing you want. But yeah, you know, at least it doesn't go into an entire waste, which is a good thing. Like unlike other gacha games out there, so where getting duplicates really really burn away your cash and all that kind of stuff. So gotta be grateful to a certain extent. Anyway guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys have better luck than I do. Um, for me, having bad luck now isn't exactly a bad thing. Um, I'm just hoping that you know the good luck comes when the 7 star costume for Kaname does come around. So, am I, am I jinxing myself for the next gacha video now? <laughs> I mean, it's 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 okay, you know. Six star episode plates costumes, um, uh, not exactly that rare to unlock. Considering that as long as you gain costume points for them, you can use episode orbs to unlock the costume. Seven star plates are the one that you should really worry about. So, oh god. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go take a nap for a bit um, before I head out for dinner. And I'll see you guys in the next Utam Records Gacha video soon. Bye!